What up, y'all? First off, let me say the live stream was a tremendous success. Who would have thought the Travel OG could sit through a live stream for eight and a half hours without getting up to use the bathroom, you dig? So, of course, no one except my truck driver subscribers, shout out to y'all, are going to sit through all eight and a half hours of the live stream, so I'm going to break this bad boy up. Taking the best parts of the highlights from my first Zoom to Thailand live stream featuring the lead attorney. <laughs> we had a ball. Shout out to the lead attorney. Shout out to bro man for helping me out. Shout out to my subscribers. But I really want to give a shout out to all the people that kept me going for eight and a half hours. We did it, y'all. Zoom tribe. Speaking of Zoom tribe, I really want to give a special shout out to all my new Patreon members. I'm so excited. I got to say y'all names, man. Shout out to Paul Blunt, Tyrone Lewis, Stacy Judge, Everett Matthews, Kill Sheba, Adam, Big Mitch, Jack Washington, Harold Jackson, James Davis, Tub Talking, Glenn, Victor Man, D, Blessing Omozagian, Ontario Hopkins, OPN 2000, Knowledge, Joseph Asbury, Cedric Rogers, Joshua Brantley, and Theodore W.A.F. Thank y'all so much for your support. Now that I finished this edit on episode one, we can get together in the Discord and we can do what we came to do. Now, let's get into the live stream part one with me and the lead attorney and why I asked him all the real questions that people really want to know. Like, what he really wanted to say when Tasha K got at him and called him the G word and then told him to suck her T word. <laughs> hey, Lee said it, not me. But here it is, y'all, part one of the interview with the lead attorney on Zoom to Thailand. Let go. I just, man, I really admire and look up to this guy, man, because he's done so much. And if any of y'all that follow Lee know, he a passive aggressive dude. Like, he laugh and be cool with you, but that, when he flip, when he flips that switch and goes lawyer on you, that's your ass. I'll call him Superman in the blue suit. My man, my first life, Mr. Lee. There he is. How are you doing, Richie? Back zoomed to Thailand. I'm in the house finally. I can get the benefit of some of your awesome production value, right? So you bringing my name up? <laughs> <laughs> you damn right, I'm bringing your name up, man. I gotta say, you and mediocre tutorial and reviews, man. Y'all, if it wasn't for you two and Guy, you know. I wouldn't have been where I'm at now so fast, man. So I just have to first just give you your flowers, tell you thank you, and appreciate everything you do. So how you doing, bro? No problem, man. Listen, I am doing good. I'm about to take a little vacation myself. Uh, can you hear me okay? Is it just me? I hear you good. Yeah, can everybody right. hear us? Yeah. I'll leave. Say, throw one in the chat if y'all can hear us all right. See y'all throw one in the chat one time for your boy one time. Man, you got 250 people up in here, Richard. Right? Come on now, you killing the game. No, no you have 250 people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Travel OG, and I traded in my Hollywood lifestyle for the sexy beaches of Pattaya, Thailand. We're bringing you exclusive interviews, showing you what the golf courses are like, the caddies are like, what the homies like, Zoom to Thailand with your man, Richie Matt. The Travel LG. So I wasn't going to say the actual name, but I was going to say, oh, come on, Lee, you got to be real, man. Take us back to the first time you saw that video she made about you. And you heard her talk about your mama. You heard her <laughs> talk about the, the furry cat or whatever the cat was. She went in so cold. That was some hood elementary school verbal beatdown she gave you. And you took it. And it you came crazy. back. You took it, you came back, and you were so James Bond about the shit. Like me, I would have handled it different. I, I mean, I'm petty. I would have got down a little bit different. But I need to know, the chat in the room needs to know, everybody needs to know, when you first, first saw that, and it just went off, tell me us what the first thought was going through your mind. It was crazy. Pull this super chat out, because the yellow is getting <laughs> on my nerves. Um, <laughs> just click on another one and just click off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shout out, shout out to the king. Oh, now did you pull that one up? Click this, shout that one out. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Ryan Bizzle. This is great, good, and wonderful. Thanks to both of you. I'm struggling, like Lee said. I'm trying to get it down so Lee can focus. 
Shout out to OJ with the struggles. All right, man, that, that yellow was killing me. Uh, yeah, man, listen, I had t- I had spoken about Tasha K. And y'all know how I am. I'm just a regular dude, right? So I don't, I don't ever get crunk. I'm not like Edward Anderson, you know, like I, I don't get, that's not my energy. I'm way more relaxed, right? And uh, I had done a, a video on her. I didn't even know who she was. I did a video on her and, and Derrick Jackson and that video is just a stream. And then I did another video on her and somebody else. Could have been Derrick Jackson again. You know, fine, because she had a million subscribers. Right. Then I did another one. I woke up in the morning and I saw the Chicago Tribune. Well, you guys all know, content creators, we all know it. We'll wake up. We'll have to stream in the afternoon. We don't know what we're going to talk about. You, you don't know that because you're not really live streaming. But us, when we stream a lot, you can wake up in the morning and not know what you're going to talk about in the afternoon. And so I woke up and I was in bed and I saw the Chicago Tribune, this newspaper in Chicago had talked about her and uh, R. Kelly. So I looked on YouTube and two or three other YouTuber content creators were all, had already made videos about it. So I was like, oh, I'll make a video about it. I made that video, normal video, just like all the other ones. And then, man, like in the evening, my... Uh, no, I, when I made the video, my number one moderator, you know, noticed that Tasha had come on the stream. She was in the comment section and she was making some slick comments, but I didn't catch them at the time because I was busy doing the stream. Right. And so uh, I saw uh, the, 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 the comments later on and um, I sent her an email and I was like, I sent her an email and I was like, hey, you know, I know you were in the stream and you said this and that, and you know, it's just me, right? I, you, you, you don't know who I am, but I don't really get down like that. So if you, if you took offense to anything I was saying, you know, my bad, you know, I apologize. And I've apologized to numerous people. My, the very first person I apologized to, he probably had, I don't know, 20 subscribers. So it's not like I apologize to someone because they had a million. I apologize to Brother Clarence. He probably had 20 or 30 subscribers, right? But he, he took something wrong. He took something in a way that was I, I didn't intend it to. So shout out to Brother Clarence. I apologize to him. I brought him up on the stream to apologize. So if I'm wrong, I don't have any problems telling you that I'm wrong. Now, I didn't think I was wrong on this point, but when I saw what she had wrote, and I was like, hey, you were in the stream. You, you must have took this wrong, right? Well... Later that night, <laughs> later well. that night, my phone started blowing up with all these damn notifications. That thing was like, zoo, 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 <laughs> zoo. and I look, everybody was sending me these video, this video that she made, and I watched the first, I watched the first like 10, 15 seconds. I couldn't even make it past the 15 second mark. I was like, I ain't watching this. I am not gonna, gonna do it, right? And then um, she sent me an email. She was like, hey, what's your number? We got to talk. And so I sent her my, after she she made that video, I didn't didn't watch it. But then she sent me an email. She's like, hey, you know, what's your number? We got to talk. And so I sent her my number. She never called. Then um, I think either later that night or in the morning, she made an apology video. And she made the apology video, which was like 17 minutes and 45 seconds of BS and then 15 seconds of a real apology. That 15 seconds was a real apology. The 17 minutes before that was some BS, but whatever. And uh, but yeah, I got I got tons of emails from all the winos, all of her fans, all these black women emailing me. Hey, I mean, straight hating on your boy. You know, oh, I'm gay and oh, you know, I only like white women and you know, this and that. Even your girl Tasha said I wanted to suck on her titties. And I was like, <laughs> I, like which is it? Am I gay or do I want to suck on your titties, Tasha? Like, where you gotta choose. Which one is it? Now? Which one is it? <laughs> and uh, but yeah, what the, the biggest thing, the biggest uh, impact that that had on me, it had two impacts. The smaller impact was on my channel. Uh, I did not realize this, but I see now why there are so many trolls because I did not do that video to troll her. I did that video just like I'd done the two others, just like I do all my videos. They're just, I just call stuff like I see them. After that video, I got a thousand subscribers every day for like the next seven days, which was huge for my channel. 
So I did I didn't anticipate that because I was getting so much hate. You would have thought I would have lost subscribers if you would have seen the hate. But it right. didn't work out like that. I got, you know, if you add it up, I might have got 10,000 subscribers out of that. Which That's again was something I didn't even anticipate, right? Yeah, didn't even try. Mm -mm. I didn't know she was gonna flip. I didn't even think she would see me because she has a million subscribers. How's she gonna see somebody with 40, 50,000 subscribers? If you got right. a million, right? right? So that was the second most important thing. But the first important thing, really, what impacted me the most was how the people in in the manosphere really rallied around, and everybody started making videos about that. And everybody was on my side, like every single person. There was this one dude who sits in the car. You know, it was him and he said, he, he said, no, I'm going to choose Tasha K. I saw the way leads blow it up. I'm going to blow up. And he's still <laughs> sitting in his damn car, I suppose. But um, other than that, it, I mean, just to see all the brothers come together and support me. That was humongous, humongous. You know, you talk about the love and the super chats is like a, a demonstration of that love. I, I saw a, just a, even a higher level. Now, yeah. you know, it's not like they were just supporting me because I'm me, right? I was also in the right. You know, if I was in the yeah. wrong, I wouldn't have seen that, right? And that's one of the good things about this space. You know, the brothers, even though they'll love you, they'll call out the BS from time to time. Right, but right, that right. was huge to see all of these content creators kind of circle around and back up, you know, back up my channel. So it, it was it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And, you know, from that, she was just in this lawsuit with, uh, with you, Cardi B. You did an amazing that. job on that, brother. I got to let you know the way you followed that, the way you said you walked in the courtroom like, bam. <laughs> uh, that's how camera works. If I watched the whole thing, all three, every day I watched it. It was just awesome what you did. But this is why I call Lee Martin Luther King. Because do you notice, he said how he felt and he didn't watch the whole thing. He didn't say like, cause then I was like, what the, I keep. See, that's what I'm thinking you was gonna say. Yeah. So you tell us right now, you never watched that whole video? No, no, I watched it. I, I did not watch it at the time. I watched the apology video the whole time. And then made, once everybody started making reaction videos, then I watched it. Gotcha. So I've, I've seen both videos. And then she did another video too. So she's done like, to, that other video kind of mentioned me like obscurely. So it was like two and a half videos. So I, I did watch both, but I watched the full apology video way before I watched the other video. Because here's the thing, and this is a blessing that I have that most people don't have. Most people on YouTube. Most people, if some, if if you make a, a video about me and you're negative, I am too mentally weak to sit to sit through 17 minutes of you shitting on me. I can't do it. But the positive of that is that I don't see it. Right. So many, so many other. If you make 17 minutes of talking about me, so many other people want to see the whole 17 minutes. Then they want to watch it again. Then they want to watch it again, and they get subsumed by it. Right. And those are the people who are really going to let the trolls get to them. Right. Uh, so many people send me videos that are negative and I'll watch the first 10 seconds and realize where it's going. It'll be yeah. a 30 minute video negative about me. I click off in 10 seconds. Absolutely. And it's to the point now, like I just need to see if it's positive or negative. And if people send me negative videos, I don't even watch them. And I got that from Alpha Male Strategies, AMS. AMS says AMS. that... Yes, he's the man. AMS says that when people send him negative videos, not only does he not watch the videos, but he blocks the person that sent them the negative videos. Not only does he not watch the videos, but he blocks the person that sent them the negative videos because he doesn't want that negativity in his space. Absolutely. And I, I wholeheartedly is. agree. Wholeheartedly yeah. agree with that. Shout out to Alpha Male Strategies. We look forward to having you on the show too. I have a superpower of being too weak to watch people <laughs> shit on me for 20 minutes. I ain't gonna do it. Right. Yeah, so it's hard. Right. I'm petty. I'll, I'll watch at least 10 minutes of it just to see what it no, is. No, you'll watch the whole thing. Admit it, anyway. You want to see the whole thing. <laughs> Give me the 17. Give me all 17. <laughs> you want it all. <laughs> you, you just like to you get into torture with it. No, oh, man. I can't even do it. <laughs> Time to read a quick super chat. Um, we're gonna, Okay, we got that one. We got that one. See, lead. I'm still trying to get it together. 
Aquan After Dark Podcast, KES 500. I don't know what KES 5. What's KES 500? You the king of the super chats, uh, Glee. What's I've KES never 500? seen KES. Shout out to that. I've never oh, seen that, what that, that is. That might be some crypto. I don't know. <laughs> Richard, keep up the awesome content. That video <laughs> crypto. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. All, all of the props I've given to this man today because he really, really, really like let y'all know who I was. Uh, even before mediocre tutorials and reviews, that's why I wanted him to be first on my stream. You know, we're gonna have mediocre coming up, but I had to do Lee first because he's the first one that, that actually took a look at me. So, Lee, speaking of that, when I signed up for your for your consultation, like Fat Joe says, yesterday's price is not the same as today's <laughs> price. <laughs> Listen, what what, did, what was it? What, what what did you pay? Do you remember? I think it was like one twenty five, and I was getting, yeah. I was like, <laughs> those were cheap. I started them off at seventy five dollars. I didn't think anybody were gonna. I didn't think anybody was going to uh, buy them. And this is something interesting too. The more I raised the price, the more people bought, right? Wow. And so yeah, but now I'm thinking about stopping them. I just ain't got time, you know. I had done my Patreon at 350. People were snapping those up. I made a hundred dollar a month. I had to close that out. People were they were abusing it. Um, then I raised it to 400. My man Troy was like, "Oh, I know you closed it out at 350. Let me do it for four. And so I opened it up for him for four. Then another person got in for four. I closed that one too because you got to spend so much time with it. I, I ain't got no more time, man. I'm, I listen. I'm trying to value my life, man. I'm going on vacation. Y'all ain't going to see no lives out of me for at least until next week, probably. I'm just putting on these damn clips. But uh, but yeah, man, people, and this is what I love about this space too. People are absolutely support and uh, we don't take advantage of it. Usually in this space, what I've seen, you know, if, if people are giving value, it's real value. So even if I do charge, you know, $350 for it, dollars for an hour i really try to give you a lot of value out of that hour right which is so value. absolutely I, I can attest to that i got so much value out of what it did because number one i think people just want to be able to talk to you people mm. want to make a connection with you because of who you are as a person you're such a real person it's worth it for them to pay 500 just to be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one so you know who they are because Honestly, that was part of my strategy. I didn't know how much value I was going to get. I just knew I wanted you to know who I was. Check out my channel because that was part of your thing. You would, you, you would look at the channel and give feedback. Yeah. And I said, well, once he sees it, then he'll he'll give feedback and then we'll, we'll we'll do something else. But to be able to talk to the person as a human being to talk to you, Lee, is, is worth every single dime. But do you remember what you said to me when you first viewed my channel, what you told me? I, I don't. I'm sure it was about the production value. I don't remember. What, what was it? I'm gonna tell y'all what Lee told me. He don't. He got so much. He don't know what goes on because I'm out here in Thailand enjoying my life. I'm golfing and having it my way and palm trees and all of that stuff. I'm kind of like not taking it seriously. Just kind of like doing a couple little every like two, three weeks or whatever, putting something up. Cause I started in April. I didn't really, really catch fire till like November, December. So during that, that time from April to November, I was kind of just putting it up as I wanted. Cause I wasn't really getting any views. So Lee said to me, Lee said to me, quote Lee, you said, you have some of the best production I have ever seen on YouTube. He goes, but this is your problem. Then you only post it every two, three weeks. He's like, who, who, how you gonna blow a channel up like it every two or three weeks? You, That's you true. Do it, you don't do it every two, week, two, three weeks, you might as well quit. Those are Lee's words. Lee told me, you might as well quit if you're gonna do it every two, three weeks. And he said, you have to post at least two, three times a week, once a week at minimum. Yeah. If you don't do that, you might as well quit. You remember telling me that, Lee? That's what you I, said. I, I believe it. You know, I know the production value was in there somewhere because honestly, I, I don't see anybody in our sector that has production value that's 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 comparable to yours. Your videos are amazing. They're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. And so I, you know, it is kind of a thing too because I know it takes you a while to produce those, and it's not like you can you can't produce something like that once every three days. You you, you can't do it. It's just impossible. It's absolutely impossible. But the way you've been able to do it to 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 get your content up. And to get it seen and to blow up 50,000 subscribers so quickly. It's amazing. Absolutely it's amazing. It's a blessing. Uh, thank you so much, Lee. Uh, let me give a shout out to my man, Derek Taylor. What I love about Derek Taylor 
He says, what up, Brother Mac? You got a gem on the way. Respect to you and Lee, two dope brothers. Yeah, I like the sound of that, Lee. Salute to Salute Derek to Taylor. Brothers. Yes. Salute. Giving it all the way up. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. I'm going to read one more, and then I got to ask you another question. Oh, that's Steel Curtain. Yeah. Okay, we read Steel Curtain. Okay. So um, so now- Wait, did you read got- that one? I did. I read Steel. I read him again, though. Oh no, did he read it? Listen, listen some, oh, the he, Steel Curtain will bless you. Two. Okay, listen. Man, this, you said two. Steel Curtain will bless you. Lee, can you read that? Or you want me to read? I like when you oh, read. He them. said the sheer amount of personality and quality on camera is crazy. This stream was destined to be great. A great marker for your first stream. Shout out to TLA. He's a class. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Shout out to my man, Steel Curtain. Steel Curtain. And I thank you, Steel Curtain. And we also, while we're talking about Steel Curtain, first of all, Steel, thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you so much for helping me. Thank you so much for coaching me with Lee, because you know I was scared to let him know that the stream went bad last week. Thank you for that. Awesome. But we also got to give a shout out to Gail at Night. Lee. Can we, can, we give a, can, we get, can we get one for Gail at night? We'll hit it for Gail, man. Yes, my number one female moderator. Okay, you guys, too. Gail at night is trying to get to a 1,000 subs. She's not monetized yet. She had like eight something, like 853 or something like that, y'all. Let's help her get up. Gail, I'm, I'm going to do like Lee say. Drop a link in the comment section, Gail. Y'all, <laughs> y'all subscribe to Gail's channel. Yes, um, everybody go subscribe to Gail. Lee, let me tell you something that Gail told me. This is between me and you. <laughs> Gail said, you know, I'm not monetized. I got 800 and something subscribers or whatever. She goes, um, but I don't talk, you know, I don't ask Lee or nothing to help me because I don't want him to think I'm cloud chasing. Gail is afraid to ask you to help her because she thinks you would think she was cloud chasing. I said, Gail, you've been with Lee since the beginning. That's the last thing he's going to think. Never that, Gail. Lee, would you tell her ain't no cloud chasing with Gail at night, Lee? This is the thing. I put a whole section. <laughs> she is the only person in the in my whole course. It's over 17 hours. The whole that I mentioned, like, is her name in the title. She is absolutely awesome. She's helped me out tremendously. Tremendously. But I can understand a little bit, I suppose, why she would feel that way, because that's all you hear on YouTube. Anytime, um, anytime you get help from somebody, oh, you cloud chasing this, cloud chasing that, right? Uh, people will say that about me and O'Shea. Oh, you just cloud chase O'Shea. Or people will say that with me and Kwame Brown. Oh, you just cloud chase Kwame Brown. You just cloud chasing Kevin Samuels. Like anytime you mention another person, is all about clout chasing, but it really is such a negative perspective. You know, why is it that when we help each other out, it's 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 for clout? You know, it's it's a terrible negative perspective that's common in, in this community. You hear that, Gail? It's all love. Coming up, me and the lead attorney get into it about traveling and whether it's worth it to take a 16-hour flight to Thailand. You don't want to miss this one. Y'all know what I'm about to say, right? Theme music! Zoom to Thailand, hope you coming too. Uh -huh. Richie Mac, travel OG with celebrity interviews. Get your passport, let's go. let's go. This is what you need for show. Brothers in Thailand, and bikini babes at the beach. If you need more, he got it popping. Caddy of the day, we golfing. Really ain't a better option. Time to travel, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's connect. Uh, Richie Mac, yeah, we steady vibing. Take a journey, let's get moving, cause we zooming right to Thailand. Hey, Richie Mac, travel OG, let's go.